which holds one race superior than another is finally discredited, inferior, and abandoned, there shall be no peace. And until the significance of, of the color of a man's eyes... Oh, we fight no now, we fight now. But you watching us, though. We fight now, but you watching us. There shall be no peace. And, we and you fight, see, the brother has watching. no peace. Because, hey, you know... Knowledge. I got a question for hey, everybody. Knowledge. Until we can't see each other as, hey, knowledge. as one yeah. people, Master there shall be no peace. Up. You know what? When, when you look at horses... When you see a white horse, what's the difference from that white horse and that black horse? There's no difference. There's just the fur. Difference in the fur. That lets you know right there, racism is the dumbest shit to exactly. ever even work in society. Like when, I, when, hey, I, when, Rich, I, when I was growing up, up, I grew up around all different cultures in Jamaica. I never knew. We never knew that this guy was Chinese or this guy was white. or We never ever distinguished ourselves like that. We were just all fucking kids growing up in school and that was Ryan and that was Mark and that was Alex and that was fucking Carrie and whatever, right? It wasn't, right. oh, wow. he's a black guy or he's... I understand now why he was getting upset because that's your experience. So if mm-hmm. it's not his experience, then, you know, he, you can't, uh, you can't just say from your own personal experience if it's positive or negative and 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 cast that over everyone. Yeah, because so he's trying to say he went out in the world. <laughs> yeah, he's not he... out in the hey, world. Hey, he's knowledge. not the whole world. Hey, knowledge. The real he's point though, is this. Exists in the whole real world. point is this. If you go out in the world, said, rent him up. Hey, bro, if you go out he ain't the world, ready to be rinsed up, man. He ain't, even, he ain't even worth being rinsed up, man. No, no, no. Master but... Pete. Master Pete said rinse him up. Yeah, rent, give Master Pete a wrench. But, uh, the point is, if you go out in the world and you already assume and you acting and you actually carrying yourself like a, a racist, hold on, oh, rent some up. Y'all gotta break this down for me, that man. Shit what gonna show. That shit gonna show to your action. And people <laughs> hey, yeah, your yeah, energy, your aura. Hey, hold on, hold on. It's gonna reflect on, on your aura. You're right, hey, trigger. Yeah, hey, all allergic. that shit. Hey, hold on, trigger. Hold on, trigger. Hey, allergic. How you rinse up, Master P? I think you go. I think you click on the little dots on his name. I think you can give him a wrench like that. I'm not sure. Masterpiece. Oh, 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 oh okay. Yeah, well, it should well, say well, add well, as a moderator. Okay, 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 okay. I see, I see it. Hey, see if Master P want to get on the panel, man. You know, so yeah, I, man. I talk with the brother. On yeah, the that, that's that's a real conscious man right there. <laughs> well, Masterpiece, yeah, man. Like, man. Like, he watching. He watching right now. He listening. Yo, That's the piece you want to get on, bro. We don't want to get on with all that rhetoric, man. Don't nobody want to get on, man. We got our kids yeah, and shit yeah, sitting yeah, in the house. Yeah, yeah. Talking yeah. All that, bro. yeah we I had to come be... outside. Yeah. I had to yeah, come outside. Yeah. You feel me? Like, bro, I can't sit in the house with my wife and, and kids. You call me all types of names. You'll never come on my broadcast again. You can type what yeah, you want man. in the chat. See, see, yeah, you that's another reason why you gotta keep can. people like that off your off your live stream, bro. That's another trigger, trigger, you told me though. Trigger, you told me. You yeah, told man. me, Trigger, when I first started this year. What you say, bro? You say yeah, you got to watch who you let, let on your yeah, panel, bro? It's just up on the panel as soon as you opened up, too. I never wanted to say nothing because I was just going to, you know. But I was man, like, y'all well, guys. He, he, his own me, conscience man. came out with it on the, on the, on the open panel knowledge. last night. Knowledge. Like, Have you noticed since that guy, <laughs> brother's gone, we ain't been kicked off no panels now? Yep. Oh, oh, man. Oh, I man. got you. Oh, yeah. And it's clear. Probably you can off. hear everything. People, the it's vibe is hey, totally different. Hey. The energy is crazy. Yeah. Shit, crazy. Yo, yo, and the whole me. time, yo, hey, was it just me or the whole time the shit was going on? Every time we get back on, he'd be saying some shit like, that's bitch shit. That's bitch shit. I wouldn't do that. That's bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? He was the only one talking, going in on that shit for like two minutes. And everybody else was just quiet, bro. Just listen to this man, bro. And he was the one doing the shit the whole time. Yeah, that's gonna show you, bro. Like this brainwashing, bro, is a different animal, bro. Like we really got to really, really freaking medicate the people that. Yeah, because what what shit, he's bro. trying to do, he's lucky, trying to destroy the bill. We got, we got to man, bro, we people. ain't full of shit. How I give brother rents, man. He's still on my on my shit talking shit, man. We've been bro. unlocking, unlocking. Let him, let him stay there, though. Hey, this is what you do. Let me say this. 
No, don't block him. Don't block him, bro, because you don't want to block people out, bro, because this is what you need to do. He he can't get on the panel, right? So what you need to do is mentally, you got to, you got to, uh, some type, I know we're not doing this to, uh, be doctors and shit, but we are psychiatrists because yeah. this nigga need mental, he, he need help, yeah, man. He, he, help. he looking for something. He need bro, help. He, he want us. He looking for a community, bro. He looking out for something, bro. That he he ain't getting around where he at. He ain't getting it from nowhere because he ready to lash out at us, the he, white people, he anybody. A sorry, motherfucker, right now. You a sorry, motherfucker, right now. No, bro, no, you don't do that, bro. You feel me? I'm not you, gonna, you just okay, don't even okay, give okay, him. That's okay, the product. Of the well, yeah, don't even give him the energy, bro, because that's part of the trick. Yo, is he he a fucked up individual for doing the shit he doing right now? Yeah, I'm man, yeah, but you but, know, but but, but what, what, what he I got passion too, is, though. He's 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 bipolar, gentlemen. So he yeah. he he's he changed from state to state. Exactly. So one minute he exactly. could be he in could. this mode, and then the next minute he could explode. And this is what we've been experiencing with the brother. He comes on and he's calm on the panel and he's making sense at first, and we're building. I promise and then you. He, and then and then he can't he can't make sense, and he's trying to twist what we're all trying to say that we're all saying the same thing, he'll try to twist in a different way and then he'll start getting angry and and it's just his his energy just changed. It's another from, one. It's another yeah, one that so was on the panel who came with him. The okay, Emerald the bipolar. Emerald dude, Emerald the Emerald uh one the other dude, Emerald something I don't be want to call any I shouldn't probably do that, but he he another one bro but we have to all, watch out to them because they want to be part people, of the community. Okay. But, but they brother brothers please uh yeah. Right now, you need to realize this guy is a narcissist. All he liked in the panel was hearing the old, the sound of his own voice and didn't want to hear none of us. So right, right. now, we're still talking about him, and he's enjoying that. So can we continue building right. like on, on the bull or on the elite right. or something, something like that? Yeah, we need, to, we need to clarify. We need to clarify that because, you know, we need to – we basically need to learn from this experience, man. We, we know yes, we got people out there do. that think like him. That's so right, and, and they're cut us off. The knowledge that can clear the air for them type of people, bro. Because the, yep. they need to know, man. They need because, they need to know. like I said, half of the world is in this state that the brother is in. Facts. Yep. And if it's not, if it's not that they don't like um a certain kind, it's that they don't like a certain other kind. You understand? Yep. Yep. Uh, and, well, and that, well, that's well, the welcome division. to the panel, Josh. Welcome to the panel, brother. Hey, the biggest, the biggest thing, the biggest thing, my brothers, that we gotta learn is that we gotta be brothers, we gotta sisters, we, we gotta be, we gotta be a family. Now, I'm not gonna say we're not gonna have arguments and disagreements, but we still gotta be mature and be men because the, there's a bigger issue at hand. You know what I'm saying? Because the more and more that we let the outside world, the outside mentality come into this movement, it's gonna be in vain. You know what I'm saying? Because we might as well fucking stay in the fucking matrix. So. We gotta, you know, so we gotta feel that while we, because it's it's fragile, you know. What yep. I mean? we already, yeah, man. We already, we already battling. A yeah. Beast. We, we gotta filter out beast. all the weed. It's like right. when we plant plant a whole far a garden or a crop or a field. We gotta weed it, and we gotta keep taking out them weeds because they'll spread and destroy what we're trying to build here. And then, and again, I go back to the Denmark, the De the Nat Turner Denmark Vessel. You know what I mean? Like we we got we got this thing is, bro. It's it's amazing that we have history to to teach us where we can go if we keep this shit close knit. Again, that's yeah, what I was man. telling him earlier. That's what I was telling him earlier, bro. You can't have a whole lot of motherfuckers in this shit. It'd be nice. I mean, in 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 in, in, in an ideal utopian world, yeah, it'd be nice to have a half a million motherfuckers on the same shit. But we know it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Only the few. You know what I'm saying? The remnant. Even I, the, and, the book. And, and, and I get what you're saying tonight. Prime example, man. I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 yeah. it don't take, it don't take Some people looking for deception. Bro. It don't take a lot of motherfuckers to dismantle. I'm, I'm getting an example. My dad, my dad lives in Ethiopia, and he has a house in Dubai. My dad got initiated in the Maasai tribe in Kenya. My dad told me that that uh, you sometimes, the, in, in order for these men to be men, it, they take three guys, they go out into the fucking uh, Serengeti or whatever, and then they let one man go. He has to go fucking kill a lion by himself. And what I'm getting at is it don't take a lot of motherfuckers, bro, to get what we need to get done. It just take a, it take a unified body. Again, I'm going to go to the gauntlet, the hand. We got an open hand. We swift, we calm. But the moment that we get a grasp on the system, the moment that we can get a physical hand on this shit, once we plan, 
We plot and we strategize. Once we strategize, that means your fist is not clenched. Your hand is not closed. Now we can fucking go to work. Now we can fucking fight, but we can't do the shit angry, fucking yelling, cussing at each other and all that shit because it's not right. going to work. We're going to be right. just like them. Yep. 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 Facts. And that's why we got to That's why we got to avoid that racism shit. That's exactly yep. why. Because if we adopt that racism shit at all, at any, any way, that, form, That's fashion, the major but, tool. That's the tool to, that's the cutter, man. That's what they use to cut yep. up the masses and it's to not, divide not us only, all. Hey, not only that, not only that. It's the biggest it's, one. Not only that, it's used as an identifier. You know what I'm saying? Because, yep. man, you got to think about this. Ever since President Bush, when he left office, he called something the Patriot Act. They, they watch all groups. So we can't, we can't, we can't label ourselves like the world and all these Hebrew Israelites, the Muslims, Japan, Africans, we got to be our own shit. They can't, they shouldn't be able to fucking identify us. So the moment we start using racism and prejudice and all that other shit in our rhetoric, now we label, now we identify, now they watching everything, you know what I'm saying? And everything that we trying to do under the radar, yep. it's going to be on the fucking radar. So we, that's what I was telling him. I was like, stop, bro. You got to move stealthily, bro. You got to be systematic. You, I understand you angry. But you can't be like them with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? You're going to give yourself away. You're going to use anger. You're going to do some dumb shit. You're going to either end up dead or in fucking jail. And then you gonna, now you're part of the system. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You can't use the same fire that the system used. You got to be different, bro. The old way yep. is not going to work. You know what I'm saying? That's why they got a new world order because the old world, old world order don't fucking work no more. So now, they got, so now we got to have a new world order. We got to have a new shit the way we're going to implement this shit. Yes, brothers. Can can we address uh, things? Uh, anything? Anybody want to build about um, Marcus Garvey, the Black Panthers, um, Sigma Pi Phi, Martin Luther King, Reverend Jesse Jackson, the CIA? Anybody want to build on those things? Yo, I wanna... heard some shit about Marcus the CIA, Garvey man. Was trying to I heard some shit. The black, um, black, black African movement. What's it called? Pan Africanism. Um, back, back to Africa. But um, let's call a, a, another movement. Um, it was trying to create the uh, OAU, Organization of African Unity. Right. Because um, I th his, Maj his Imperial Majesty was trying to form that, that OAU because he hey. wanted to... Um, you unify all all of Africa where all melanated people would have had access all over the world to um go and come from Africa as they please and um right. had a piece of inheritance there. And you know what that lines up to what uh Allergic was saying about Martin Luther King. A lot of people don't know this and if y'all boys go back if y'all boys and I and I and I hope y'all boys and Dan Callow Callaway got a video about what Martin why Martin the real reason why Martin Luther King Jr. was killed. It wasn't because of racism. It wasn't because of presidents. Martin Luther King Jr. found out that we were owed a whole bunch of shit. Martin Luther King Jr. was going to actually take us back then to Washington to get our fucking inheritance because he found out the fucking laws and the real shit that we're not black, we're not African-American. He found out some shit, and he was going to fucking go to the United States government and get our shit, and they killed him. That's what that shit was about, if you know what I'm saying. So y'all boys should go watch that Dane Calloway video because shit real deep, y'all boys. Like I said, bro. We we if we if we had an inkling of the truth of what's really fucking going on, you know what I'm saying? That's why he, that's why I fuck with Huey P. Bro, it's the system we should be angry at, not white people, because yep. everybody Damn got right. a hand in this shit, dog. Everybody got a hand in this shit, dog. Everybody. Because if we knew the truth and we knew our own people, literally our own descendants, <laughs> a part of this damn system, then we. we this we, is the we, truth we, right here, so though. This bro. is truth. Of the deception, yeah. right? Uh, while Martin Luther King was going to get us our shit, right? Because he knew that we had to claim nationality over anything. That's the same thing that Malcolm X was realizing. That's why he switched up. You feel what I'm saying? And, and they get rid of him. This is the same thing that I'm trying to put together with the boycott that I'm trying to do. Let's challenge the motherfucking system with the paperwork. You feel me? Because that's where it's at at the end of the day. If we know that this money is worth nothing and that you can go take a piece of paper and write it out as a promissory note because your Federal Reserve note is this green dollar bill and all you got to do, all we should do is a people's yeah. uh, Cause, reserve note. Because if, if we could, if basically if we could prove that we're, um, if any people could prove that they're um, alive, 
I bur- that you are the true and living like, person. No, no, that no, you're no, not no, the fictitious name. Wait, 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 you know, if 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 you could prove that you um your your aborigine or the original person or native to a land, right? So so you're see, the, see um, this one, that's where it gets tricky at because they can never we're gonna have then that's where the blood work come in at, right? And then who we gotta go saying. to to go all the, the blood. All, 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 all the all the crown land that is held by the, the government or the crown, right? Belongs to the people that that are um indigenous to that land. Right. right. Hey, you know what? But this is so, so and this we're is, I, I know but, America right. hey. and Africa as well, not just not just this part Africa. of the world, because we were right. a part of the old world, or, or See, the, but first, this is, the first home for humanity, right? And you're right, you're so right, but this is what we got to realize, though, bro. This is what we got to realize. See, this is why they're trying to make us go back to Africa, or trying to say that we're from America, right? Just what you said, though. We're from everywhere. We're from That's Earth. Right. The government, Earth. The right. government is trying to right. earn land, I mean, own the land. That's that right. is not there. And it's the people. We're indigenous to the land, yep. exactly. And right. we're indigenous so, to this so whole fucking motherfucker, man. All hey, this legal right. paperwork right. to legally take over the land because what they're doing, they're being caretakers of the land right now. The way how they set up their system so that one day when when we all die, our generation after a certain period of generation of being caretakers or being on the land, they can repossess the land. But check it out though. Check it out though. Both of y'all are right. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you why Huey P is so right about the promissory note on the paper. You you want to know what gives them ownership of the land? There's a there's a, paper. There's a piece of paper called the Homestead Act of 1862 that gave them control of the land that they stole from the people that's native from the land. And then when they did that, they called all the immigrants, all the European immigrants, because they took the land from the or, or original people, because again. There wasn't really that much slavery going on. What it was was sharecropping. The people who lived here were sharing the land to the immigrants that was coming over from Europe. Once yep. they realized that they can get the land, the, the, the government, what they did then, they, they enacted a piece of paper, a piece of paper called the Homestead Act of 1862. Now, check this out. We know that any piece of paper can be fucking ripped up. So if we want to go after the land, all we got to do is go back and examine the Homestead Act of 1862 we look at that land. Well, hold on, wait a minute. So you mean to tell me y'all y'all took a piece of paper, dropped a piece of paper called a homestead, and y'all took the fucking land from the people that was native? Y'all promised that once 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 their sharecropping time was over, that servitude was over, that you'll get them their land back. But then y'all y'all broke that treaty and allowed all the Europeans to come over here, take the land, and now we have to suffer, man. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. Facts. And, and then if, if they don't want to own up, world, see, and, and this, this is how we have to. Point. Because they're not going to give us shit, right? We already know that they're not going to give us nothing because they're already fucking us on paperwork, right? So what makes us think that they're going to give us some paperwork to release us, right? The right. only power that we really have right. is, like uh, like the boy was saying, the foundation of the pyramid has to move. As, right. a, as a unit, we have to uh, uh, stop being separated as a stone and move as one stone. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? And move, and move the foundation from up under their ass. We gotta, yeah. we gotta take the foundation so, from up under their ass so do. the top we, will crumble. We, we see any land that's crown, we go and live on it, settle on it. There's called a settler's right, and they try to take it out, but there's always settle settlement rights to a land it gives you right this is how the europeans possess the land because as if you live on the land if you could prove that you lived on the land for over one year in a period of time you could acquire the land you you lived on so it's called the settler's right so if you go out in the remote areas in the bush you could claim that chunk of land wherever you could hunting or whatever wherever your house is you could claim it as a sell, settle settler's right Especially when you're indigenous to the land. Indigenous people have that right to settlement anywhere. Facts. And you know what? You are so right because that's how they've been keeping the fucking land and their ownership because they've been passing the land down to generation to generation. They they stole it from they stole it from the native people. And yeah, and they, they pass it down to families. So whatever right. is not passed down to families is still held by the state or the crown. Right. You see what I'm right. saying? No. Which, which so, neither one of them can own property. Own Only a true or living exactly. person can live the property. So you when the people saying? say, fuck you guys, we're going to move over here and live over here and you can't move us off it. Fuck off. Because it's settlers' right. 
It's settlers, right? Oh. And we lived here for a year, surviving without the system. And yep. all this is legal shit. Yep. I heard they were I'm trying a, to what, change what, that what, law what, here what, in what, Canada. What, the settlers' what, 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 rights law in like Canada. Boy, I don't know if they're like, successful. Like, like my boy Huey P said, it's the fact that we ignorant. We ignorant to the fucking law, bro. Like we we ignorant. So we that's what I'm saying. We gotta go after this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's it's gonna take it's gonna take some stealth and systematically doing this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's we can do this shit, dog. That's what I'm saying. I don't Cause think. Doing it. Yeah, because if we if say if you healthy. possess a hundred acres. And it's like a unit of people possess like a hundred or a thousand acres and it was all forest or whatever and they built they built a, a neighborhood and farmed it and whatever. Those people have that rights to that land now. This is what I'm saying. This is how you got like Amish societies and all sorts of societies and they move out in the in the crown lands and do these things. Hey, so check it out. I'm gonna give y'all some deep shit real quick. It makes me want to think now why why Detroit why Detroit was left in a state of sin because think about it the black people been on that land for a long fucking time black people in Detroit don't even fucking know that that land that they're under is theirs and the government is make keeping it fucking impoverished and broken down and all that shit because if the black once the black people leave out of Detroit out of them bad parts guess what the government gonna do they're gonna come in that bitch subsidize that motherfucker out open up mega budget corporations they're gonna fucking open up these utopian Suburban cities, and guess what? That's how they've been doing this shit. So really, like Atlanta, look at Atlanta, bro. Atlanta is fucking black all the way through. Black folks don't even know right up under their feet. They got all they got. They got the wealth. You know what I'm saying? And they immovable. Where Huey P is right now, bro. Right now, they can be the first settlers act right now, and they black people in Atlanta don't even know it. Huey P can start a fucking movement in Atlanta right fucking now. Right now, bro. I swear on my life, bro. I got, I got like twenty migos who told me the same thing, bro. Twenty migos, bro. What I mean, what I do, what I'm, what I'm finna put together this weekend, y'all finna love it, bro. I swear on my life, bro. When I, when y'all see this, y'all gonna be like that motherfucking Huey P, P ain't playing, bro. That motherfucker for real, bro. When I, when I show y'all this shit this week, bro, y'all gonna be like this motherfucker ain't playing, bro. I ain't playing. I'm trying to tell you, boy. I'm out here, bro. I'm out here working, bro. I swear on my life, boy. When they told me to show y'all, to show y'all that I can have, uh, if I can just get a movement together on my own in my city and everybody on their panels, they start promoting the uh, the boycott. Man, I'm finna move this motherfucker. I swear on my life, bro. I ain't got nothing else to do. I ain't got nothing else to do but to fuck with these people because they done fucked us over so much. Like, I'm, tr I'm with Trigger. I'm angry as him. He don't understand how angry of a person that I really am. But I'm also controlled. You have to control your anger. You have yeah. to control your energy. If you don't know how to control your energy, you are a worthless act to our, to our movement. Because you don't know how to push and, and to receive and to give energy. Because energy is about channeling the energy. If you don't know how to channel that Man, energy bro, at the right time, bro, it's dangerous, bro. It's dangerous, man. It's yeah, dangerous. And, that's, and that's what Allergic was trying to tell him. Allergic was trying to tell him, bro, you can't have a fist all the time because, you know what I'm saying, you can break your fucking hand, but if you have your hands open, you ready to grab hold of some shit. You, you can't walk around yep. with an angry fist all the fucking time, bro. Yep. Hey, let's yeah. build on that they, 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 don't, they don't tell us that we could um, build, build housing schemes and, and, and societies and, like, we could you could you could repossess the land, build homes and, and rent them, sell them to anybody who wants to live there. And my bad, I keep saying trigger. I mean star. I keep saying fucking trigger for some reason. My bad trigger, bro. I keep saying trigger. But I hey, meant star. Y'all boys, y'all no boys problem, wanna build man. on the y'all boys wanna build on the boule? Uh cause I think allergic ass said something about the you know about the boule. And I know the boule is heavy in Atlanta, bro. I heard it's heavy yeah. in Atlanta, the boule. Bro, this shit is so ill down here, bro. I be goddamn, I be paranoid like a motherfucker, dog. But it's so crazy though because you, hey, we treat ourselves worse than the whiteies here. You feel me? Like, even though like uh the uh like I'm I'm field trigger, but like the KKK is one of the main spots here. They just had a damn thing in Noonan uh uh two days ago down here, uh, a rally down here. You feel what I'm saying? Uh um stone mountain douglasville marietta you go to the outskirts you know what i'm saying and i be telling my people y'all so fucking dumb 
We so dumb. We are all in the city and all on the outskirts. We are surrounded. We surrounded, but we they don't realize. But it's so Atlanta. Our uh, our uh, energy is so uh, strong and vibrant that all the white people on the outskirts, all the young ones, love us. It's the, it's the older ones who got a problem. It's the old ones who've been indoctrinated. The young ones, they switching over. They love us. They love our music. They come smoke with us. We can smoke. We don't give a fuck. You yeah, feel right. me? We just want to smoke some weed and chill. We don't give a fuck about nothing, man. We just want to smoke some weed, chill, party, fuck with some females. We ain't doing shit, man. We don't sleep. The city never sleep. We out here getting, hey, man. And you know Chilling. what, Huey? That's so powerful what you just said, bro, because, because guess what? That 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 right there puts like 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 the boy the boy was saying. I think that's a that's a that's a that's a calling in a fucking chain because if you can get everybody on the same page that they that they set to be indoctrinated to keep us divided, shit. If we start getting the white people together, the Asian people together, the is the uh, the Arab people together, yeah. That then it's then it's, yep. then it's just a nice party. This is what I was talking about. Like when you go to a concert when there's like five half a million people and the energy. At a concert, because everybody is on the same page, it's just like wow. It's like you know, we we yep. gotta get to that That's energy, true. and like when we get to that energy, we find out like it's all about living life and and having having fun and being peaceful, man, and and being and happy, treating people good, man. Yeah, hey, y'all want to know hey, something? Hey, you, you remember the seventies and the seventies when everybody was hippies, bro? Right. You, you remember the pictures and shit, bro? Motherfuckers was walking around smoking. We was too high when you when you smoking weed. You too high to be beefing. I ain't got no time yeah. for that shit. I just want to yeah. eat That's something right. and see something. I want to laugh, man. I just hey, want to have some good weed. Hey, Fuck, man. And you That's why they try something. to cut out the weed. You know they they hey, banned the hey, weed all across America in in, yep. in 1920 20, in the 1924 1922 when they, they made marijuana illegal across all the states in America from yep. Kansas straight back to Ohio. You know what I mean, yep. bro? Like fuck because they didn't have control over the American society. That's why. Yeah, because they the didn't weed have is like over the society. healing other nations. Like people are happy and happiness bring health. Like you don't need no fucking doctor with hey, and you and know all what? that and shit. You know what? Hey, you know what? Huey P is so right because guess what? When you go back to the sixties and seventies, you had blacks, whites, all together. Everybody smoking weed. The hippies in the seventies. That's that's the last time that we seen the movement that we talking about now happen. So imagine if we can get that same energy in this present time, bro. You know how powerful that shit will fucking be. How up. much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? Marijuana is going to be a cause of the unity. Of course it has to be. That's the healing of the nations right there, my bro. And I think that's the reason why that plant exists, bro. Yep. Right. I think that's the reason why it exists, bro. It's to to basically clean out all of the impurities that could possibly be put in your brain from the industry. It it says it's the healing of the nations in the scripture. Right. You know what I mean? And that's why that's what it's talking about because the healing of the nations, think about it. When everybody smoke this weed and they're happy, they're health, healthy. Happiness is healthiness. So you don't need a doctor. Like majority of all the, the, the medical industry is based on diagnosing people with depression hey, and ADD. Hey, the boy. Okay? Hey, the boy. Yep. Hold on, hold on. Yep. Hey, hey, the allergic got up some shit. Hey, allergic, what you know about that Steve Coakley, bro? What you know about that? Build on it. To be honest, I was just looking into his stuff now. Uh, Masterpiece was in the chat uh, mentioning uh, Steve Coakley. Man, Steve Coakley was a powerful brother, y'all boys. I'm talking about powerful, dog. He he was he pretty much was fucking like starting this shit. I mean, because you got to think about it. People say, oh, he was a whole pan African African movement, but you got to think about it, dog. Those that was a tool that he had back then, just like right now. Our tool, bro, through this flat Earth movement. To me, the flat Earth movement, bro, puts everybody on the same fucking playing field, bro. Everybody equal. So we can use this shit yeah. as a catalyst. And put we everybody on the level. Right. We put this, use this shit as a catalyst, dog. That's what I'm saying. This shit is bigger, dog, than racism. That's what we was trying to, you know, portray the star, dog. This shit is bigger than racism, bro. Yeah, this is flat earth. He's going to try to take the flat earth movement and turn it into a, 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 a gong show. And this is huge. This is, this is the awakening. Like, this right. is the yeah, awakening. Man. Yep. Yep. From what I can see, this brother was a very uh, 
he, he, that's why I mentioned all of those names because he was researching all those people, Marcus Garvey, uh, Martin Luther King, uh, Jesse, Reverend Jesse Jackson, uh, and Sigma, Sigma Phi, Phi, Pi, Pi, Pi <laughs> freaking hell, I can't even say it. That, that see, 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 you know what, you know what, you know, I'm glad you brought all this up because just check us, because check, because check it out. All those brothers that you just mentioned, they they had they they all had a, a boule, which was the, the to pretty much tear them down and infiltrate them. So again, what we doing right now, y'all boys, eventually this shit finna go mainstream. So that's what I'm saying. We gotta be the fucking copyright in our mind of this shit because we we gotta keep we gotta protect this shit at all costs, y'all boys. Because again, like the Under Armour slogan, we who we gotta protect this house. Cause I'm telling y'all, bro, this shit's gonna be huge, dog. And we are at the we are at the fucking beginning stages of this shit. You know what I'm saying? We all are at the beginning stage, so we gotta protect this shit like life and death. Because guess what? This is the last stand, y'all, boy. Y'all, y'all, that's what I'm saying, bro. This shit deeper than what we think it is, dog. This is the last stand. If this shit get infiltrated and tore down, dog, that's it. Ain't nothing else because this is the flat earth we talking about. This is it, dog. What's after? Yep. That? You feel me? All right now. To 30, 30, over 33%, a third of the, of the world population right now are on page with the flat earth. So it's only gonna, yeah. it's only gonna be realized. Like, you gotta understand that what's hidden from the wise and the prudent will reveal unto the babe and the suckling. So, yes. all the kids, all yes. the generation of the youngsters that are like teens and, and like 20 and under right now are gonna be on flat earth. So imagine this shit, bro. Imagine, 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 bro. When we get in our fifties and sixties, bro, we the elders of this shit, bro. We the we the OGs of this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's what I'm I'm thinking yeah. about, dog. Because like we 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 have to be the ones, bro, to keep the foundation of our yeah. Within you know, ten years, my bro, it won't even be when we're fifty. Within like the next ten years, not even ten years, right, this shit right, should right. overpopulate right. the right. the world. Right. Yeah, right. right. yeah. Cause it's the truth. It's that what they want to hurt. They don't want. The, we see we're telling. The but other you know half, what concerns the other me? half that's never been know, told. You want to know what concerns me though? What concerns me is when it does get out and it does reach the youth. Is it going to be corrupted already? You know, if the truth does come out and it is true that uh, it's on and it's on. It's basically uh, world worldwide knowledge that the Earth is flat. By that time, you know, my my concern is is that knowledge of the reality gonna be corrupted as well and just set well, this well, back in well, crowd. well, well, check it out, check it out. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said, bro, we gotta we gotta remain the copyright holders, bro. We gotta remain the stakeholders because again, I know it's gonna happen. They gonna they once once it's made known, yeah, the earth is flat. Guess what? Then they gonna come out with like some your Neil Tyson Degrassi. Yeah, because it, it's gonna fucking... topple the whole educational system. Right, across they gonna make the him. They gonna make him. They gonna make him. They gonna make him the 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 the, the, the poster child, and then everything the go -to that guy. learn about yeah. Flat Earth is gonna come from him. So no, bitch, you're not gonna take this shit from motherfuckers that's been out here getting yeah. ridiculed, made fun of. No, yeah. bitch, you're not gonna take our shit. You know what I'm saying? We not you're not gonna be the voice of us. It's just like how they say, oh. Oprah Winfrey and all these other motherfuckers is the voice of the blacks. No, the fuck y'all not, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna take this shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. We gotta mm -hmm. re remain the stakeholders and the copyright yep. shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? We gotta be the voice. So, when the look kids and shit wanna know about us, bitch, we the ones that's on fucking TV. You know what I'm saying? Not no no clean cut. You know hey, what I'm no, just I'm taking, motherfuckers. I'm taking ownership of something totally different, me personally, bro. I want everybody to let y'all, I want y'all to. Hear this, right? Right? Because right. we got to know that we are the master of our universe at the end of the day, right? So if their world going to be round, their world going to be round, they're going to be stuck up in that in that world. If your world want to be flat, you're going to build a world within that and whoever add energy going to be stuck up in that world, right? And can be the micros and be the macros of the world because this is what's going on in the world and when you realize that, right? Right? I realize that I'm the fucking macro. Y'all, do y'all understand what I be, I be trying to take? I be trying to get y'all to really, really realize what I be saying. Because guess what my world is? Guess what my world is? And I don't hear what? none of y'all talk about it. What? Guess how my world is? What? 
Do anybody got a clue how my what I see what the world is today? Talk to concave earth. Huh? Concave earth. A concave earth? Yeah. Nope. Oh, who again? What? A what? I'm just, just waiting <laughs> to hear you say it, my bro. Talk to us, brother. I, yeah, I see this motherfucker as a living body. Mm-hmm. I see it. Mm-hmm. I see it. I see it as a. I, I see it as a living body, bro. I see it yeah, as I a living body. Yeah, I heard you body. say that before. Right? I yeah, see I it as me. I, I, I keep saying I can't say it no other way, bro. Because this what we are sales. This is why we see, we are living sales, living on this cell. All our all of us is just different blood cells. It's like yeah. the white and the red blood cells. Yeah. And the, Vessel yeah. shit known in this world, bro. So if you moving, your world is gonna be moving, bro. If you stagnant, your world is gonna be moving. I mean, gonna be stagnant. stagnant but the yeah. solar system and your universe uh, exists within you. It's moving, yeah. It, it, and exists within you, right? So when you breathe in, your solar system is breathing in and out. That's the same thing. This is what that gust of air come through, through the air and the wind. This is what all this shit comes through. You feel what I'm saying? Through the macro of me and my micro self right now, living out this journey right now that we living through this world right now. As we communicate with each other, all we're doing is communicating with our inner selves. You feel me? On the outer level, on a micro level, on more than you should be on the macro, looking at all of your selves and stop being uh, looking outside of the world. I look at the world as all y'all is a reflection of me. Right now, I know that I'm in y'all world, but y'all in my world. You feel what I'm saying? Right now, you right. in my world. Yep. You feel me? But at the same time, I'm in y'all world, and we are galaxies and lights passing each other's energy throughout this hemisphere or throughout this universe. You feel me? This is how the stars travel and have their own space, just like a droplet on a, on, on a windshield when the rain come down. You feel yep. me? You see how the water droplets be, beat up, but they all came yeah. from this one source out the sky. And if they all landed in uh, the uh, water, they will all be individual drops in this pool of water or in the pool of ocean or in my body yeah. when the water hits my head and evacuates into my skull. Oh, you feel what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. What the fuck? This shit is a body, a cell, a living body. Facts, bro. I mean, like, so who going to be the macro of that? Who going to be the macro of that world? Nobody but me, bro. I'm the macro of my world, bro. I put y'all, I have all y'all in the room, bro. I be spaced out. I can have Sanchez sitting right here with me. Young Pharaoh, Brother Panay, uh, Sarnetta. All these niggas, bro, I can just sit right here. And in my head, I can dap these niggas up while I'm talking to y'all. I'm astral planning. I'm on top of the motherfucking world. I'm inside of my up macro, um, my my uh macro self, my macro macro, and then it's a macro, minor macro inside the macro macro. You feel me? It's just another in the cycle of it, the energy. Now, I might be super yeah. spaced out, nigga. Man, but I'm on my Neo shit, bro. I'm really trying to lift the weight up off me. I'm trying to figure out how the way to lift the weight off me and so I can release it. And, and go. You feel what I'm bruh, saying? Because bruh, it's like, meditation. Shit. It sounds like what you describe and then how you describe and how you thinking at this point, bro. Like you, you don't, you don't, you don't reach that enlightenment stage. Well, right now, bro, you just gotta practice on focusing it, bro. You gotta, bro, you I gotta, do you all day, every day. Bro. Bro. I meditate. I do. I meditate. I got, I got fucking sage sitting here with me right now. I meditate a billion all day, every day. Every thought is a meditation, a calculated yeah. thought. You gotta, you gotta get, well, out, gotta now, get out into now. the elements as well, too, because. You guys can't can't forget the fact that we're all cells like a battery and we need right. to be recharged and, and, and right. it's the elements that recharge us because the air has the electricity in it, natural static. That's exactly that's the reason why they're blocking the sun. Right. This is the reason why they're blocking the, the sun right now. Sun, sunlight, <laughs> the same water, you find the electricity static in. So you find right. that the, where, where they harness the energy, the raw electricity. Right, and when they shock somebody to come back to life, is is that recharge that we gotta be in the elements every day, all the time to be recharged, recharged continually. You see what I'm saying? Just like a battery. Like what happened when a battery you don't charge a battery it goes dead, right? And it's the right. same thing with our cells. When they, when they can't reproduce and can't recharge themselves, they die. So we gotta know what. 
what it is that recharges us and 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 um plug into that shit, man. Yeah. I figured it out. I think we all figured it out from the panels and from from learning from each other. Like uh, the vegetation, just just the same thing that you said, man. The you vegetation, see, the right water, the energy, bro. The the elements, like that's why yeah, I got my crystals, my that's coppers. They, 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 the they, they get the electricity from the wind, windmills, um, right. the stream currents, like dams and shit. Like that's yep. the water. They get it from the earth. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I think I know, and everything I think I know and like secret, man. And the fire, the heat, you know what I mean? Yeah. What you got, Trigger? What you think the secret is, bro? Like, I think I think we are not supposed to eat meat, bro. And I think, yeah. I think it's, and I'm not trying to like sound like everybody else with this vegan shit. But I think, I think in order for us to master, you know, the spirit and all of that and, 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 and be, be able to use our full capacity in our brains and shit, I think to recharge our brains, our, our bodily cells, and repair ourselves, bro, is like is it, it, crystals. Like the, 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 yeah, the trip to the world is bro. crystals, bro. I think I think it's crystals. Cells. I think we supposed to consume water. I think we supposed to be like we supposed to consume way way more water than we do. All right, and I yeah. think we not supposed to calcify our pineal gland. Our pineal gland is supposed to be decalcified. All right, we supposed to eat way more uh, 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 plants than we do. Yeah, you know plant what I'm we supposed to intake way more diet. plants than we do. So our diet is supposed to look like water, plants, and you know, crystals. I think crystals affect our pineal gland. I think yeah. crystals activate well, our well, pineal gland. Why do you think why do you think all the ancient trees that bear fruits and everything are all in the silicon state right now? And if you crack them open, they're all all crystals inside. Facts. Facts. Damn. Right. Like you're you're right on on point with that, brother. Like, and you want to know deep. what gave me that epiphany? You want to know what gave me? It's a crazy shit. You know what? Get, you want to know what gave me that epiphany? The fucking the movie Chronicle. In the movie Chronicle, the kids went underground and they found this big ass bright blue crystal. And and, and they, when they found this big ass bright blue crystal, you know, all of their objects in their pockets started gravitating towards this crystal. And then they passed out. And when they woke up, that's that, they that's why up, I'm saying, like, if you if you check if if you check the the depth in it, right? Mm -hmm. When you see the silicon based fruits all over the world and the silicon based trees and everything, right? And and you see that they went to through the crystalline state, right? right. When 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 you look into all foods, you find sugar, right? And the yep. sugar goes through the crystalline state, right? Yes. And and, hey. and they use this to to um drug the whole fucking world. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, 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 the boy. Do y'all yeah. remember? Let me, say, let me tell you why I agree. Why I agree with Huey P about the Earth is an organism, and and I and I agree with Trigger because we're not supposed to eat meat. Because think about it: if the Earth is alive and it is alive, and we're alive, that means we have to, we, uh, by us eating of the earth, we must eat what, it, what, what the earth is made what of. What the earth produces. That's, that's right. right. The, earth, the earth don't so, produce the, what, whatever, whatever is flesh come from the womb. You understand? Right. And, and, yep. and, and whatever is natural come from the earth. So we consume everything right. from the earth right. in the now natural state to, now, to now be in the yep. higher state. Now check this yep. out. To give proof to what I'm saying, it goes back to what I told y'all boys a minute ago. And I think Trigger was on on this. When you look at chemistry, they say that the periodic table of the elements that, that's in, the, in our paradigm mm -hmm. is the same elements that compose up the same body. Because in our body, we need iron, we need magnesium, potassium, yep. hydrogen, yeah. all potassium, that, right? so yeah. it's the same. If the same stuff is in the earth, and they tell us that we have to have certain vitamins and minerals, Right in our body, which are crystals and all that, the same yeah. thing in our body. So that gives light to what he repeat, what he would be saying, and what Trigger saying, dog. That's what I'm saying, bro. This shit, bro. We are connected, dog. And like you said, the macro and the micro. The micro would be what the minerals, the vitamins, the world within the worlds, the smallest yep. of the atoms, the cells, the molecules, and all the way to the macro, yeah, man. which would be the physical body or what we what, or what we comprise of. And you in my world, I'm in your world. We all in unison with each other. This shit deep as fuck, y'all. Yeah, bro. I could I could take you guys to some minerals in Jamaica where 
th these are underground springs where the water travels under the um the mountains and it comes out right at the shorelines in little little cages and little caves natural formate formated um rock caves and little oh, mineral cool. baths and like when you get like cuts and infections and stuff you go and bathe in this water and it draws all that out of your blood because the water is full of sulfur because when the when the water passes through the rocks it picks up all that sulfur and the magnesium and then it, it like that property that's found in the water is so miraculous bro you could have like a fucking any kind of infection or cut man and you go bathe in that mineral and like the next fucking day it start healing like you know, you go there two, three days, and and, wow. and 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 all your infections gone. Like, and and like we know these hey, these hey, ancient hey, things. On. So there's what another. If that's the fountain they use. There's another. There's another stone called the blue stone. That's it's found deep. in the that's blue deep. mountain. That is. A that's right, Trigger. I was just going to say the same when, thing, bro. That's the cut, fountain bro? they fucking use, bro. When you get a cut, bro, yep. and you rub this stone on your cut, it fucking. It singed the fucking wound right away. It just fucking closes it. This is like bro, you, I thought you, that you can't was find fake. this. No, bro. We grew up with this shit, man. Like it, it, it's found deep in the mountains, right? Like, way up in the blue mountains, bro. It's called the blue stone, bro. Like I know about these things, man, because I grew up with the with the with the Rastas and 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 the, the elders in the lands and the traditional people. Like we, we're roots. We know about all the roots and all that. Bro, the knowledge of the roots bro, never left like us, bro. Penal, bro. We talk that's about Cheney roots that. when you want to have kids and all that. Exactly. And you drink those exactly. things, man. And, and you're strong that. as a motherfucker. Like, hood roots, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, that's why we, we're that's eating that's aloes that's and trigger. that's like cleaning your whole insides. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's why I said what I said, Trigger. We all play an important part of this shit, bro. Huey, the boy, allergic. Knowledge trigger all us play an important part, bro. Cause think about what think about what we just finding out. I thought the shit was fake too, but the man just telling us the shit real. You know what I'm saying, dog? We all on this shit for a reason, bro. No, it's not fake, bro. I was on such a vegan diet it's just because I live in Canada. Gr growing up in Jamaica, bro. When I when I became vegan at like 15 years old, bro, and it's straight vegan based. I could I could fart and you won't even smell it, bro. I could piss and it's clear like water. Right, I take a shit and you won't even smell it because the food passes through your system in like four hours. Like vegetable take only four hours to digest, whereas uh, meat take like forever to go through your intestinal tract, and it just stays in there and rots and just gets stink, bro. And like your insides is like a house, like you know how your room gets filthy and everything, and you gotta clean it, or like your kitchen and your washroom. It's the same as your insides. You gotta clean your insides, yeah. right? So. When they changed our diets and all our insides became filthy and we're, we're shitting up all this stink and all that shit. And that's why we get sick and unhealthy. But the doctors don't want to tell you these things. They don't want they to don't tell want to you, like, you know, yeah. the water and the food yeah. clean your bloodstream and it clean your <laughs> intestines and it cleans your insides and, and you're clean around each other and like that. Like, yeah. you, this, might, you, this, could, you might catch salmonella from having a shit from, from freaking wiping your own shit because of all the meat and shit you eat. Yeah, bro, like dirty shit, bro. Like, you know what I mean? And and we 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 could be at a at a much more cleanser state than we are at right now. Cause I've been there, bro. I've been there. I hey, know the boy, can you see my screen? Do the stones look like the this? West, the West Something similar to that. Like you you'll find them like you won't find them round like that, you know? You'll find them like broken off of like um certain rocks like like probably elongated but like the same color okay well i'm yeah, yeah, see, man. Man. Bro, I'm gonna go get me some of them i promise bro bro that shit should be more valuable than anything man hey yeah i got all kind of crystals bro that's all i be doing bro i didn't got on to that shit bro that's all i be on yeah, there's a lot and, of uh, that, there's a lot of it's like, it's like you, when you said the minerals, right? That's just like uh that made me think like that do make sense. You know, the closer we get to that's why they keep us away from minerals and away from these things yep. because they know yeah. that it will energize us, it will make us immortal, it will make us stronger. It, it, you it, clean the skin bro. they try to put us the, the minerals clean exactly the skin and the they try skin to show the us, biggest organ, right? So that's why it goes back right. to that statement in the Bible where it says the body is made up of many members. And and if one if you take care of one member, 
then the whole body will flourish. Now, mm. it didn't, they, they, they always encode shit and they don't want to tell us straight out what everything means. Mm. But that means mm. if you take care of your skin, your whole body inside would flourish, bro, because your skin is the yep. biggest organ in your body, bro. Yep. yep. Fact. And that and that's what yeah. holds everything in. Now the minerals and the salt in the ocean and all that clean your skin, it cleanses it and it keeps it hydrated and everything. So that you know what I mean? You, yep. you don't get wrinkled and all that stuff. You don't get moisturized. You don't yeah, right? exactly. You don't uh, yep, yep, you don't get old and decay. Yeah, you we stay, don't get uh, old uh, and decay. We age, but we don't exactly. get old. You know what right. I mean? Right, because we're supposed to grow, right. not like you see how trees grow and grow in in the universe and extend and and they'll grow as as high as the sky, bro. Right, that's how yep. we are. We keep growing, right? But yep. with the lack of water, we we're gonna shrivel up. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Stunts our growth. This yeah, is what our chemical does. It stunts our growth. You and, feel and me? They, they've been stunting Whoa. our growth from ever since. Bro. Growth that has a lot to do with height. What if that's why we that's that why we used to grow to, to gymonga gy size, bro. Because yeah. we used to keep on growing. You know what I mean? We talked about this before because we used to keep our especially like with our shoes off, and then especially yes, in these houses, yes. only got us on eight feeling uh eight high uh eight feet high ceiling. So then we only grown to six feet yes, and stuff like Yui. that. So we still got you room got, to you have gotta realize that ahead. amino yeah. acids is what build muscles, eh? It's not right. it's not um Meat, like they tell us, it's amino acids. No, amino it's acids is found in, in beans, yes, mostly in, in beans. This is where Jack and the beanstalk is coming from, bro. Because yes. when you eat Jack beans, the it's straight amino acids, bro. And amino hey. acids, you want to have muscles like bigger than them fucking bodybuilders, just eat beans, bro. Can you eat all sorts of beans? Yeah. Hey, I, you know know beans, beans. I know a bodybuilder, his main diet is beans as well. Yeah, I, I was checking up that blue stone and I found a, a blue crystal called sodalite. And it says uh, the definition of the healing properties of sodalite, sodalite hey. are hey, listen, that in, hey, it hey, encourages hey, rational hey, thought, let objectivity. Me that, let me tell you that everything that the boy is saying is true. Cause remember when I told y'all on the last panel, you look at the strongest fucking mammal on the planet, which is a fucking gorilla. Muscles every fucking well. All he do is eat vegetables and drink water all fucking day, dog. Oh, and man. walk around without no uh without no um without no soles on his feet. Yeah, no man, shoes and that man. Mess on his feet. Yo, he, that he's crazy. And they're, they're three times stronger than us. They they could lift a thousand right. pounds easy. The yeah. hands, the hand grip, just the hand grip alone. You feel me? Right. That's why they can smooth from the goddamn from the trees like that because they they the strength in they lay in their arms and they um. Bro, gorilla is so strong. The on the they only yeah, exactly, man. Bro, this shit is crazy, could, bro. Because squeeze the shit out of an Xbox controller and, and crush that motherfucker, bro, with one hand, bro. Crush that. Yeah, yeah. because because oh. when when we started killing the animals, that's when we we we, we used to be. Like one with the gorillas and all, and all and everything. The but boy. The, when when we changed their diet, they just went their own way because they never changed their diet. Yeah, the boy. Yeah. I was saying I found this crystal called soda light that mm -hmm. uh, its properties brings emotional balance, thought, thought, objectivity, truth, intuition, calms panic attacks, enhances self esteem, self acceptance, self trust. It balances the metabolism, boosts the immune system, and overcomes calcium deficiencies. Now, check that out. Wow. That, that proves right there that gems affect the brain of humans, man, and of, of, of animals, too. Gems affect the brain somehow. I think your skin absorbs some properties of these gems and sends a signal to the brain. And causes a, a reaction from the brain to actually affect the how the body is acting. So that's why that's why I think that's why I think certain people really believe these gems got healing properties because it affects the brain. It's almost like it's almost like when you had a game when you had a Game Boy back in the day. Hey, and you used to and you just put that little uh that game shark little thing attached to the game where you could put codes in the game. Right, like that. That's how that's how the gym actually reacts to the brain. Right. Yeah, because you you want to know we don't use we only use ten percent of our brain, eh? 
Yep, and I think that's because of our lack of knowledge on gems and, and things like that. Yeah, right? our, our lack of consu um, consuming these crystals and, and minerals and everything. It yep. don't open up, open up, <laughs> and, and, and um, true we're not one with our spirituality as well. Yep. You know, so we can't we can't tap into that 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 part of the brain because it's all it's all um from subconscious to conscious. So what I mean, like thought and action. You know what I mean? Because the thought manifests manifests everything pretty much. If you could come up come up with the ter the perfect thought and then write it down, it's just like it'll manifest into reality right there. You know what I mean? Yep. So it's yep. it's thought and action, and 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 that's the basis of everything that ha that that gets done. You see what I'm saying? So the thought process is where they don't get us thinking. We don't think. You see what I'm saying? Because right. to, to tap tap into that other percentage of the brain, you gotta start thinking. You can't yep. just be acting, which is yep. which yep. is more of what we're impulsed to do. Like we're 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 always acting. Or the anger, yep. or the emotions, or the you know what I mean, but with yep. no thought. So you yep. find that we're off balance again. <laughs> yep. And, it, and, and exactly... it's just, it, it's just like you know, it's it, it it goes back to tell us, oh, you're left-handed and you're right-handed, right? That 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 right there create, yep. um the imbalance as well because we have two hands so nobody is left-handed or right-handed it's just that if you want to use your left hand you got to use the left eye or or think on the left side of your brain but to do that yep. you got to use your left eye you got to look out on your left eye physically like to use your left side you know what i mean yeah, subconsciously yeah. you do this all the time without realizing it if you're yeah. um right-handed like, or what they say prone to Using your right hand all the time, but yeah. no, people are always bro, was... ambidextrous. Like you yeah, know, you bro, see out was... of both eyes, and it becomes one. I've got an exercise that I do because I teach Wing Chun. I teach Wing Chun to my nieces and stuff. A few of my friends' uh, daughters and stuff. Um, but I've got an exercise I do for uh, for kids and for adults. But mostly, kids can only do it. Uh, and if the adults not been brought up doing it, it's very hard. And it's basically to be able to. To allow you to uh, attack and defend in this at the same time, but it's uh, dividing your left and right brain. So mm -hmm. it's like one of those, you know, one of those things where you where you rub your head and pat your stomach at the same time. Right. Yeah. So right. it's uh, creating a, a, a um opposite and equal reaction, action right. and reaction yeah. at the but, same time. But check this out. Ch try it. It's a little experiment. Yeah. Just try it. If you're if you're there, yeah, try it. Right. One hand, like like you're, like you're boxing, um, you know, one of them boxing bags, right? right? So you go forward with one hand, right? And you make a, a forward circle with that one hand. But with the other hand, you go backwards. So try it. This, yeah, you know, because this, action and reaction is the same thing. It's the yes, same but, thing. But it's very difficult for most adults to do this. If you And then switch. If you can switch. But you see, there's one thing that's going both together. If you're watching my screen... That's going both at the you, same circles. Yeah, and you know, you know why it's difficult, allergic, because you you have to divide that into the thought and the action process. And the more you in, think in about order it, to do it, that's and the right. more the <laughs> and the more you think about it, the harder it is to do. You have to let go to do yep. it. It's like, exactly. Up. It's like saying the big black bug bled bad blood. So everybody, try it. Try it. Try it. Try go one hand forward in a circle in front of you, and the other hand goes backwards. That's attack and defense. Simulate uh, simultaneous attack and defense. That's what Wing Chun's based off. And then you can switch. So it's been able to switch. Yeah, so, that's like the hardest shit I ever tried to do in my life. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And get your kids to do it. Get your kids to do it. It splits their brain physically. Physically. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, it makes them control both sides, left and right. Yeah. Yeah. And become ambidextrous. Yeah. This is what I do. I use my both hands to do everything. I wish I did, man. With, yeah, with I was born bandit, ambidextrous. I, I use one hand mostly right for the trimmer, you know? Yeah, Air Trigger says he's born ambidextrous, so he knows what I'm talking about. Like, you know? It's just like, everybody has that. You just got to tap into it. You know what I mean? They yeah. just got to tap yeah, into I it. Yeah, I think... 
at first they, yeah. they stop like you know when you try to write with your left hand and you're like oh shit i can't i can't i can't then you, then you give up you know mm. what i mean it's mm. just in concentration where mm. concentration is very important because that's unlocking usage of the other parts of the brain right and and yeah. and, and it all goes back to focus because concentration is focus you see what i'm saying so if yep, you can yep. look as far as your eyes can see, that's called focus. Because people only look at what's before them. But when you, when, when you start to look now, and when you take a look outside, just look as far as your eyes could see. And everything you look at, just look beyond it. As far as your eyes could see, every time you look, look as far as your eyes could see. I would call it focus in, in a relaxation. Because yeah. some, people, some people like you know try too hard to focus and they're like, oh, I'm trying relaxation yeah. and that kind of focus hey, uh, hey, hey you know what you know what you're talking about you know what y'all talking about y'all talking about the same thing that the little boy taught told neo in the movie he was like don't try to bend the spoon with your mind but it's your yep. mind that you have to focus you know what i mean that shit deep as fuck what you're saying allergy like this shit real god damn mm -hmm. this shit bad, man. <laughs> yeah man because like, the think, mind think... the mind moves shit I built I built a couple of houses and I built the um I sat I sat and I thought about it and what I did was I built the whole entire roofs for the two houses on the ground and I shingled the whole roof and I had a crane come and lift up the whole roof I, 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 as one and put it on top of the house and then it was all done and everybody was like what the fuck you know <laughs> they cuz they don't they don't see shit like that all the time and like you know it's just it's just the power of the mind yep. you know what I mean is when you yeah, sit down yeah. and you concentrate and think, you you'd be a, you'd be surprised. I'd love to meet you, man. Still, bro, freaking out. You'd you'd influence me in a different way, more physical, you know, like. Hey, you know what? And that's the thing. We're all gonna connect once we got our once we get get beyond the system. We'll be we'll be hey. we'll be connected. Hey, all I over, got a man. question. Allergic, you, you just panel, you, allergic. You just said something that I, I want. I was just about to say, bro. You took it right out my mind, bro. I would say, I about to say, bro. What? Like one day, dog. It'll be dope as fuck, bro. We all just fucking meet up, dog. Like that yeah, should be dog. Honestly, believe, bro. If we all meet up. I think the fuck it'll cause some type of wormhole, bro. Like, <laughs> like literally, bro. Like that should be crazy, bro. All that energy in one. Place, bro? It's what too much. Fuck, bro? Too much. Hell yeah. I think we're meant to be spread out. We're meant to be spread out. Too much energy <laughs> like this in one place, man. Woo. Hey, y'all know the story of, uh, of the messengers, right? What's that? No. Y'all know the story of the messengers, right? How does it go? Talk to me. Basically, they was like a group of people from all over like a, a, a particular region of the world, and they, they basically were linked somehow and they, they they found that they was linked by basically they used to run into each other like i'm talking about like 15 people like from all over the country they like run into each other in like the oddest places like they'll fucking end up at the same gas station at the same time type shit and you know what i'm saying like they, they they'll be experiencing certain shit or they end up in the same place location and they'll all meet up, and it'll just be a coincidence because all of them have just realized that they just all met up. Hey, it'll just, just be like you, my hey, trigger type shit. You, you, you give me goosebumps right now. You, you give and basically me the messengers, out. they whole mission, they whole mission is to basically work together at basically uh stopping the apocalypse. Bro, listen to me, Trigger. I'm finna say something that's probably finna weird y'all boys out, but it's giving me goosebumps what you're saying. Bro, what if, bro? Like, what if, bro, like, we, like, I feel like I know y'all boys, though. I, I'm talking about, like, it feel like, bro, like, I knew y'all boys before this shit. Like, I seen y'all boys in my dreams, dog. Like, no homo, but I feel like, bro, I know y'all boys, dog. Like, we met up in each other's dreams and shit. Like, because you know how, like, when you dream and shit, like, you see people in your dreams, you be like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Why are you in my fucking dream? And then, like, you'll go back to that dream and you'll see that same fucking person, bro. And, and I'm just saying, for me though, yeah. I think I I think we all know each other, bro. Like we fucking we been knew each other for like millions of years, bro. We finally fucking remember we coming together. And I think eventually, bro, once we unlock the code, I think all at one time, bro, we're like, oh shit, Brandon, oh shit, allergic, oh shit, bro. I remember now, like the shit deep as fuck, dog. I think we know each other because. This is the creator's dream. We didn't meet. We didn't meet in our dreams. We met in the creator's dream, and we're all part. There of that you go. There you go. Man. There you and go. And we just yep. to, it's, it's getting back to that connection. 
but we're, we're using technology. Maybe one day we can do it wirelessly with our brains. Hell yeah. Just just like, who knows? In the like, last the like, creator time. is in the midst Ooh. of us right now. I swear, right bro. Now. I swear. Listen, what I'm saying is, I swear, bro. Like I met Huey people before, bro. I swear, it's like I met Trigger. It's fair. I swear, bro. It's like I met y'all before, bro. bro. Like I know, I know what shit. you're saying, bro. I feel the same way too. Yep. Hey, well, hey. we all have met each Let other. Let me say this: bro. we have, just like nah, I said. Mean, like I mean, like, what if we all actually met each other in different locations? No, we have. Um, literally, we have. Like, no, we literally have. 